Hi everyone, my name is Lucy Gray. I'm an activist of the Italian Organization for Environmental Justice, ASUD, where I work as a project manager, a researcher and a trainer. Today I will introduce you to the project, to our course, and its first introductory module, From the Ecological Crisis to the Ecological Conversion of Territories. So let's start with our project, COMPASS. As you might have already read on our website, the COMPASS project wants to contribute to building fair, socially and environmentally sustainable societies through the development of a new professional curriculum and an online training course in the field of ecological conversion. The project, based in five European countries, Italy, Bulgaria, Germany, Croatia and Romania, includes activities of context analysis, dialogue with stakeholders, professional training and collaborative project ideas development with local authorities to enhance participative and ecological conversion processes throughout Europe. The COMPASS project aims to train about 50 unemployed professionals in the field of participative and ecological conversion of public spaces. It also has for objective to create a new professional curriculum, sustainable conversion consultant, and to implement its related training course. It wants to establish connections and business partnerships between local authorities, private companies, professionals and local communities. It also aims to support the mainstreaming of open educational resources for lifelong learning, and it wants to promote good practices in the field of ecological conversion of public space. Project COMPASS foresees different type of activities. In a first stage, uh, COMPASS partners have realized context analysis researches, which supported the production of a report on ecological conversion development trends, occupational perspective and training and education opportunities. You can uh, review this document on our website. It is for free download and access. Um, this let's say, context analysis activity help us out um, <clears throat> to build this uh, online course that you are actually currently under doing. So this is the, let's say, the core activity uh, of the COMPASS project is the construction and the implementation uh, of an 80-hour online course. Uh, this training course is providing trainees, you, with interdisciplinary competences and also the opportunity to develop concrete project ideas for the ecological and participative conversion of public spaces together with local authorities. Uh, finally, the COMPASS project foresees dissemination activities, in particular of good practices case studies video that you will have the chance to see during the course and that are also accessible online on our website. Um, and these uh, videos are developed and used for further promotion of uh, the ecological conversion of public spaces among uh, stakeholders and the general public and also to promote the course. And finally, we also have a set of public events uh, that we organized, one in Romania, which was already, uh, which happened in September, and the upcoming meetings in Germany and Italy. So regarding the Compass Partnership, as I said before, our partnership represents five European countries. Among project partners, uh, we are our my organization, ASUD, Ecologia e Cooperazione Onnus, in Italy, which is based in Italy, and we mainly work on environmental justice issues. Uh, we have also the Bulgarian Development Agency uh, from Sofia in Bulgaria. Uh, as another Italian partner, we have CES4, Centro Studi Formazione Orientamento, which is uh, a training center, professional training center. In our Romanian partner is Civitas Foundation for Civil Society, the Cluj branch. We also have in the partnership our project leader, DOR, which uh, stands in Creation for Society for Sustainable Development Design, based in Zagreb. And finally, our German partner, Europanorat, which is also a, a training and consulting um, agency. Okay, so now let's see, uh, let's review the course. So the course includes 80 hours of e-learning and field practice activities from October 2016 to January 2017. Uh, it foresees 
50 participants, you, which are an employed professional or just recently graduated uh, ex-students from Bulgaria, Italy, Croatia, Romania and Germany. Um, and this course aims to build your competences with transdisciplinary inputs so to increase your ability to act for sustainable conversion through your profession and also improve your curricula with a specific new competences. Okay, so let's review uh, the presentation of our course. So as I said, we have eight models. You will see first, this is our first model. So this is called From Ecological Crisis to the Ecological Conversion of Territories. And it's running by me for a suit. Um, after this first model, you will have a model with chess four about team building techniques, conflict prevention and management. Um, that will be followed afterwards uh, by a module on social sustainability that is uh, developed by Civitas. And as a fourth model, uh, our proponent partner um, DOR will provide you the model on sustainable architecture and energy management. Then uh, you will have module five on urban planning and participatory planning that is uh, proposed by Europanorat. Uh, from Germany. Then Asud will uh, provide you with another model, model 6, uh, which is on basic GIS mapping, so uh, geo-referenced information systems, mapping for citizens. Um, and BDA will provide you with model 7 on business creation and fundraising. And finally Chess4 uh, will teach you the last model on marketing and internationalization. Hi everyone, my name is Lucy Gray. I'm an activist of the Italian Organization for Environmental Justice, ASUD, where I work as a project manager, a researcher and a trainer. Today, I will introduce you to the project, to our course, and its first introductory module, From the Ecological Crisis to the Ecological Conversion of Territories. So why training in the field of ecological transition? The training has a fundamental role to play today in the path towards ecological transition. We will define here training as the development of people, capacities and qualities, the promotion of specific abilities, the acquisition of a technique, a professional competence. Training in the field of ecological transition should valorize everyone's capacities and potentialities in a working environment that is not only based on the relation employer-worker, but on relations among workers, with the local community and with the surrounding environment. Training in the field of ecological transition means, first of all, to enhance and update existing knowledge. It also implies to train not only entrepreneurs and companies, but to plan training processes covering all sectors involved in a given transition action, including citizenship and institutions. We consider an adequate training in ecological transition if it combines both social and environmental perspectives. Systematic approach and interdisciplinarity are two fundamental characteristics that training in ecological transition shall assume while guaranteeing a training action in different and very specialized sectors. A core element of training in ecological transition regards, for example, the re of production. Training would need to be built in synergies with universities and research centers, trade unions and relevant social actors, and would need to be supported by policy change, disincentiving outsourcing. We believe that such training, training shall combine a double approach, including both the hardware, infrastructures and products innovation, and the software, cultural, systemic aspects in order to support an action promoting a united vision useful to human and professional development, rather than further divide competences and externalize to over-specialized technicians. The ELO report, Green Jobs Becoming a Reality, Progress and Outlook 2013, provide interesting data regarding the social and employment impacts of sustainable transition. In the so-called green jobs sector, it appears that in 2014 companies found out that 20% of the professional figures were difficult to find. There is a concrete need to develop further adequate training paths so to better match green job markets demand and offers. 
The Italian Institute for Workers Professional Training underlines an increase in training demands in the environmental field in Italy, and it appears that 70% of the sense training activities are continuing trainings. These show how workers face needs to requalificate their existing competencies, in particular in regards to energy efficiency, sustainable mobility, bioarchitecture and environmental certifications to better adapt to new market trends. Many new figures and competencies are needed for a complete implementation of a social, environmental and economic transition. In the context of the smart cities development, a new requested profile is the one of collective impact officer, acting to gather partners and mediate among stakeholders for the development and implementation of projects. This kind of hybrid figure needs to enhance its competences and combine skills in sociology, for example, to promote participation, identify key social actors, apply local investigations, methodologies, or stimulate grouping processes, and other more technical skills, for example, in sustainable mobility or green public procurement. Another figure that we try to develop with this course is the Sustainable Transition Actions Planner. Working in connection with institutions, private sectors and local communities, he or she shall apply a systemic vision mm. to plan local sustainable development actions through an integrated and interdisciplinary approach based on social and environmental sustainability. So... Let's see how this first course and experimentation gathering various competences and actors, both from the trainer's, trainer's side and the trainee's side, is going and enjoy this new pilot course. Okay, so let's review uh, the presentation of our course. So as I said, we have eight models. You will see, first, this is our first model. So this is called From Ecological Crisis to the Ecological Conversion of Territories. And it's running by me for a suit. Um, after this first model, you will have a model with chess four about team building techniques, conflict prevention and management. Um, that will be followed afterwards uh, by a module on social sustainability that is uh, developed by Civitas. And as a fourth model, uh, our proponent partner, um, DOR, will provide you the model on sustainable architecture and energy management. And we foresee uh, didactical activities. Uh, so you will have about three hours of reading and uh, reviewing videos and web content. Um, you will have to review a case study that Asud has developed as a good practice example. And we will, you will have to dedicate three hours of your time uh, to the forum discussion. The forum discussion for this module foresees you to provide uh, a small essay uh, discussing the questions, how do you envision ecological conversion of public spaces into the current global framework? In which way does it shape conversion projects? Which type of conversion project or activity you believe, in the light of your professional ex competences and experience, would really make the difference? Um, this discussion essay will be a way for you uh, not only to share what you think, but to uh, read what uh, other people think and also try to have a form of a, a reflective discussion among all course participants. You all come from different countries, you all have different professional and personal backgrounds, so this is a first, uh, a first try for you to have discussion and exchanges also among you through these uh, little essays. So let's see what's, uh, what is this lecture's vision. Uh, why sustainable conversion? Uh, for us, the conversions of various crises would be economic, employment, environmental, social, climatic, food crisis uh, is a growing worry for our societies and makes necessary a radical rethinking of our extractive, productive consumption and disposal models. Um, and lifestyles. Sustainable conversion, intended as a socially and environmentally sustainable driven transition, provides 
in that sense an important field of alternative in actuating concrete changes to preserve our future. It does not imply misery, poverty or sacrifice, but it means adopting uh, sober lifestyles and consumption models based on a more equal, rational and fairer use and distribution of resources. So why training in the field of ecological transition? The training has a fundamental role to play today in the path towards ecological transition. We will define here training as the development of people, capacities and qualities, the promotion of specific abilities, the acquisition of a technique, a professional competence. Training in the field of ecological transition should valorize everyone's capacities and potentialities in a working environment that is not only based on the relation employer-worker, but on relations. For many years, our organization has worked on issues related to social and environmental justice, with particular regards to environmental conflicts through activities of training and education, cooperation, communication, advocacy and research as a means to act to reverse the dominant economic and industrial model. In an era in which there is a continuous and increasing aggression towards people's rights, it appears to us that acting for a transition of the production, consumption and political systems is the only way to go. In this perspective, local authorities appear as a strategic ally in developing initiatives from the ground up, empowering citizens as actors of change and supporting political and industrial transitions.